by Scott Reardon, the Australian set in Doha two years ago. Richard Whitehead, who tied for silver with Denmark's Daniel Wagner in Rio, will go, of course, Wagner in the second of these heats. But Richard Whitehead, who's already won 200 metres T42 gold of these championships, will go in this event. Go to Pedigay of Sri Lanka in the lane three. There is Richard Whitehead. 200 metres gold already, fourth from the 100 in 2015. He missed out on the medals there. But silver, tied for in the Paralympics last year. Woods of the USA, seventh in this event in 2015. And Malango of South Africa. Ben Schaefer, fourth in the long jump in 2015 and 2016. He took up the sport after spending time with someone you may know a little bit of. Marcus Reen. So Greden and Wagner go in the second of the heats, the world record held by Heinrich Popov of Germany. That was set back in July of 2013. That's 12.11. Scott Reardon's championship record just outside that of 12. Point one three. Yoda Pedigay then in three, Whitehead in four, Woods of the USA in five, Malango in six, and Schaefer of Germany goes in seven. <laughs> and they get away. Whitehead always gets away a little bit slowly on the outside there. It's Leon Schaefer who's got away very quickly, but Yoda Pedigay has the only moment, but here comes Richard Whitehead. There's been a fall in the background. Well, there's been a fall. It looks like Malango, who's gone down and tripped with around 10 metres to go, but Richard Whitehead has gone across and taken the win there, but Malango was coming home, well, very quickly indeed, but he's fallen near the end. Yoda Pedigay has come back to help him over the line. He has finished there, so... He will get himself a time, but it's Richard Whitehead who's come home in a winning time of 12.35. And Leon Schaefer in second place, the German with a lifetime best. But tragedy there for the man from South Africa, Ntando Malanga, who was seventh in this event in 2015, who went down. You saw him coming through as Yoda Pedigay, who took off quickly on the inside. Leon Schaefer of Germany, who was up there as well. And just on the inside, in, you see Richard Whitehead coming through. And just there, that is a nasty, nasty fall indeed for the man from South Africa, Ntendo Malangu. Thankfully, he managed to get up and get himself across the line to finish and wasn't severely injured by the looks of things. But it's Yoda Pedigay of Sri Lanka who got a quick way. He was disqualified back in 2015. He finished sixth in the Rio Paralympics and Malango there in the green of South Africa. That is quite a fall just before the finish line. And here you'll see from the left in a moment, you see Woods there of the USA, Whitehead in screen in the middle there who picked up the win in this event. But it will be Malango who went down and Vanessa, you've got an interest in this obviously because your partner Scott Reardon will be racing in the next race, the current world champion but disappointment from Malangu but Richard Whitehead doing quite well there we have a really quality field here with this world championships um, there's Richard Whitehead in this race we also have to look out for Lee and Chief a young athlete with a lot of talent just recently moved to the training center we well, saw Woods there who moved across as well that was the reason you're wondering why that was behind Richard Whitehead was because Nintendo Malangu went down and had to then get back up and finish the race. But confirmation then of Richard Whitehead winning in 12.35. Leon Schaefer with a lifetime best of 12.48 goes through in second. The first three qualify, and it is Yoda Pedigay who takes that third spot in 12.69.